Hello friends, welcome to Game Shastra. In today's video, we will be understanding the concept of electrophiles and nucleophiles that are very important in understanding organic reactivity. So, we will start with the first concept of electrophile. So, let's begin with what exactly this word means. It means if you split this word into two equal parts, the one part is a stands for electron and the file, this, this is made up of two words, one is an electron and the one is a file. From these two words, we are making the word electrophile. Now, file, if you get the literal meaning of this, this is a French word which means to love. Okay. So, indirectly, if I want to define electrophile, I will define electrophile as a species which is electron loving species. Okay. Now, friends, remember one thing. For us, money is very important. If someone is having the more money, we say that that person is uh, very rich, right? So, for your molecules or for your atoms, we define, the money is defined in the parameter of your electrons. So, if an atom or a molecule is having excess of electron, then we call that atom or molecule as an electron rich molecule. So, if we consider the one, the it's very logical. Can you tell me one thing? If you are saying that some atom is electron loving, now why do you keep, why we keep on running behind the money? Because we need money, right? So it's very obvious the one, the species which is going to love electrons is the is going to be the one which will need electron. So I can define electrophile as an electron loving species, but there is a reason why they are electron loving. The reason being they are electron deficient, and that's why they are electron loving species or they are electrophiles. Now. Any atom, if it is generally represented, if you will see electrophile, we generally represent it as a E plus. Now, any molecule or any atom, if it acquires a positive charge, it's very obvious the number of protons are far more than the number of electrons. And that's why the atom becomes electron deficient. So, obviously, we will put that atom under the class of electrophile. It is not necessary that the atom or a molecule should have the positive charge, then and then only we call it as an electrophile. Even the neutral atoms are also electron deficient. So let's try to understand a few examples. We'll take the example of H plus, that is a proton. Okay. Now if you'll see hydrogen atom in general, hydrogen atomic number for hydrogen is one. Its electronic configuration, if you put it, it becomes one as one. Now when you're going to have hydrogen plus one, the hydrogen atom loses its one electron, which is there into hydrogen atom. So H plus one, if you write down electron configuration, the basic electron configuration one is zero. That means there is not a single electron with this H plus ion. So if at all this hydrogen atom is always will be in a search to find out the electron, it will try to search the atom or a molecule which will give electrons to this H plus or the proton ion or the H plus ion. So what does that mean? This H plus ion in this case, I will call it as electron deficient. So I will put it under class of electrophile. It is an electron loving species. Second example, you can take another example for uh, electron deficient or the electrophiles. That is the AlCl3, aluminum trichloride. Now over here you don't have any charge on the aluminum. But if you see the aluminum, if you are going to put, it is not necessary that you should know the atomic number of aluminum and you should know the complete electronic configuration. It's always better to know that in which class your aluminum is placed. If you will see, aluminum belongs to the boron family. After boron, the aluminum comes. For boron, the atomic number is 5. Its electronic configuration becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p. One. So, this is a simple explanation of what you can give. Now, aluminium being belonging to the, as it is belonging to the boron family, its valence electronic configuration is going to be 3s2, 3p1 and 3d subshell is going to be there but it is going to be empty. Okay, that uh, right now we are not going to be much focused on this 3d subshell but remember this thing that it is having 3s2, 3p1 electron configuration. So, if you are going to put electrons for aluminium in the ground state, you are going to have two electrons in the s orbital and in your p orbital, it is going to have one electron. So this is going to be the electron. How you are going to place the electrons in this case? You are having two electrons into the 3s orbital and you are having one electron in 3p orbital. Okay. Now if you go for the excitation of the one of the electron, as in LCL3, your aluminium is showing trivalency. So if you go for the excitation of electron, your aluminium for moving from ground state to the excited state, its electronic configuration now will become 3s1 and 3p1, it will move from 3p1 to 3p2. So there will be one electron in S and there are going to be two electrons in 3p set of orbitals. Now, once it is going to form bond in AlCl3. Now in AlCl3, what this is going to do? Aluminium will share electrons with chlorine and they will go for a bond formation. 
So when this bond formation happens in this 3s, the one electron is from aluminium and in 3p2 you are having two electrons from your aluminium again. But what happens is when it goes for the uh, bond formation, there will be three chlorine atoms which will donate up, which will share a pair of uh, share electron with the aluminium and its electron configuration will change. Now if you will see over here, still this aluminium is having one orbital which is going to be empty. So what I can say that in one orbital you can you can place two electrons, so that means one electron pair. So this aluminium still is in having a deficiency of one electron pair. So this aluminium will act as an electron pair acceptor in this case. So that is the reason why your AlCl3 is actually the electrophile. Now understand this, if you know the Lewis acid base chemistry, according to Lewis acid base chemistry we say that the molecule or an ion, if it is an electron pair acceptor, then we call it as a Lewis acid. If it is an electron pair donor, it is a Lewis base. So if you apply the same concept to the electrophile, your electrophile becomes Lewis acids, acids as they are electron pair acceptors. So your electrophile behaves as a Lewis acids being electron pair acceptor. Okay, now let's move on to the another part which is a which is also very important and that is nucleophile. Now let's try to understand a bit about nucleophiles. We'll take one more example. Now nucleophile is again made up of two words. One is nucleus. Okay, so it is having the first word is a nucleus and the second word is again the common to both of them. That is a file. Now nucleus is that means a species which is a nucleus loving. This file means love. This nucleophile means the species or the atom or the ion which loves the nucleus. Now understand this, nucleus is having two things. One is in nucleus you have a protons and you have the neutrons. Neutrons are neutral so you don't have to worry about them. But protons are positively charged. So what does that mean? Indirectly you are saying nucleophile are those ions or the atoms which are having affinity or uh, attraction towards the positively charged protons. Now it's very logical, if you are going to have excess of negative charge, then and then only you will be getting attracted to the positive charge. So it's very obvious your nucleophile are electron rich entity, they are not electron deficient, they are electron rich entity in your molecule or in your reaction. That's a very important thing that you need to focus on. So if any ion, suppose if you take a very simple example of OH minus ion, the oxygen is having excess of electron pair. So this excess of electron pair can be donated to the atom or ion or to the molecule which will need that electron. So basically your nucleophiles are electron pair donors. Now again go back to the very basic concept of acid base chemistry which says that if you are going to have something which is an electron pair donor then according to acid base chemistry we call it as a Lewis base. So if you apply the same logic then that according to the same logic your nucleophiles are nucleus loving species. So this was a complete explanation on the electrophiles and the nucleophiles. A very important thing that you need to understand is whenever, whenever, okay. Now there's one more thing that I will to, I'll like to put on nucleophile. It is not again necessary that your nuclear file should be negatively charged. Even if you take a very simple example like HOH, this is your simple water molecule where your oxygen is having a two lone pair of electron. So it's a neutral atom, it's a neutral molecule. But still, it will act as a nucleophile because it is having excess of electron. It is an electron rich molecule. Okay. So, it is possible that you are having a molecule which is a neutral, but still, it will act as a nucleophile. It will donate a pair of electron to the respective molecule or ion. Now, very important thing that you need to understand is every reaction will fall into this class. You are going to have nucleophile plus electrophile reaction always. Okay. So, if you ask me, organic chemistry, in organic chemistry, your all reactions are going to be like that. It is going to be a reaction between a nucleophile and an electrophile. That means it is going to be a reaction between electron rich molecule and electron deficient molecule or the ion or the atom that depends. Now understand this why you cannot have combinations like I am saying that indirectly I am saying electrophile electrophile reaction is not possible. You cannot have a nucleophile reacting with a nucleophile. This reaction is also not possible. Why I am saying that? I will have very common logic. This is something that is related to us as well. Now, have you ever seen, yeah, this is the example which I give all the time. Mandir ke baar, tum logo ne kabhi dekha hai kya ki ek bikari dusre bikari ko bheek de raha hai. This is not a disrespectful thing, but understand that that's a logic what you can apply. Mandir ke baar, tum logo kabhi dekho ke nahi ki ek bikari uta ha, dusre bikari ko jake bheek de diya. Thik hai, that will happen in some Bollywood shitty drama, okay, but in real life, you will not see this kind of thing. Why I am saying you this? Because electrophiles are electron deficient. This is also electrophile which is electron deficient. 
एक है कि जो खुद इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट है दूसरा है जो खुद इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट दिस इज आल्सो भिखारी दिस इज आल्सो भिखारी दे वांट रिएक्ट विद ईच अदर एक भिखारी को कोई भी रिच आदमी जाके भीग देगा भिखारी एक दूसरे भिखारी को भीग नहीं दे सकता ओके एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दैट दिस रिएक्शन इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन यू कैन नॉट हैव अ रिएक्शन बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोफाइल एंड इलेक्ट्रोफाइल सेकंड थिंग हाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड अ न्यूक्लियोफाइल व्हाट वी आर सीइंग न्यूक्लियोफाइल्स आर इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच आयंस और एटम्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स हैव यू एवर हैव यू बाय नाउ हैव यू नो एनी ऑफ द वेंचर वेयर टाटा and mr ambani is doing a business in collaboration i don't think so you are going to get any of this okay with a due respect understand this they they are have they both of have both of them are having lot of money theek hai to inke paas bahut zyada paisa hai inke paas bahut zyada paisa hai they won't act they will never have some interaction with each other in with respect to the business sense so this is also electron rich this is also electron rich they are not going to react okay Another thing that you can think of this is nucleophile is electron rich. Nucleophile is also electron rich. So one which is electron rich, they are negatively charged. So the moment they will come closer to each other, they will have repulsion and reaction won't happen. So this this electrophile electrophile reaction is gone. Nucleophile nucleophile reaction will also not happen. The only possible thing that you can always have is a reaction between an electrophile and a nucleophile. Or I can precisely say that it is always going to be a reaction between Lewis base and Lewis acid. Okay, in this video, I am giving you one challenge to all those who are watching this video. Give me a one single reaction which is not acid-base reaction, and let's see if you can give me that example. Because according to me, if you ask me, according to me, all the reactions are acid-base reaction. It's just a matter of the fact that you need to find out how it is acid-base reaction. So, friends, if you do have any question on the electrophiles and nucleophiles, feel free to ask. Put it on the comment box below and keep watching Kim Shastra for more such important concept. By the way, this concept of electrophile and nucleophile is also part of your ten concepts that you need to master organic chemistry. Thanks for watching and all the best for your exam preparation.